Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Last time we had a bit of an interlude, uh, so not really that many plot developments, though we did get to see that Hohenheim and Father are two separate beings, uh, had finally had that confirmed, and yeah, uh, now we get to continue where we left off two episodes ago with Ed finding his way out of gluttony, hopefully, with Ling and Envy, and also Al uh, coming right in front of Father, Scar, and May on the way too. So, uh, very excited for that. If you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, let's get started. And who is this? Dad? Dad. Now? Is that freaking Envy jumping out? Oh. Brother! <sighs> Made it! Sense the danger. Sense the danger. This is somewhat surprising. People emerging from his stomach. What the? Hohenheim? Not Hohenheim. Are you two the Elric brothers? And how is it the two of you are acquainted with him? Well, he's our father. He's our father. How are you acquainted? He's your father? This is indeed surprising. What the I heck? I had no idea he had children. <laughs> <laughs> and who the hell are you? And why do you look exactly like him? I know that he can't be dead. Listen! Brother, this guy's the one who... Shh. It would appear that you're injured. <gasps> there. How is that for you? What the heck? It's not broken anymore. What are you? What the hell's inside you? No, he's gonna attack Ling. He doesn't I have any use for him. You are, but I honestly don't care. Ling, back down. You can go ahead and eat him. Okay. No, 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 what? no. No, hold on! Don't! This guy's our friend. You wanna keep us happy, right? I'm taking you down. I don't care how many cronies you got! And just who are you calling a crony, Pipsqueak? Pipsqueak? Pipsqueak. <laughs> it's time to run, man. Oh. Got you now, boss man! Get out. We're not ready for this. This is a waste of time. Get out of here. You're out of your depth. People can sense it. There's Hohenheim. What? What's going on? I can't transmute. Oh, shoot. What the hell did he do to us? You may prove to be rather useful to me after all. What? I could always use a new palm in the rotation. You're gonna... Is that a philosopher's stone? What? <laughs> Can you read from such a sad face? Don't shoot it! He this wants exactly it. exactly what I want. So you just stay out of it. No. Are you serious? Now this is new. Yeah. But we'll see if your body is as willing as your mind. <laughs> no doubt. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. Ling! They're dealing with the future leader of Shane. 
Holy crap. Greed. I'm supposed to use this little brat. And come, I freely accept you. You know, people normally reject. <laughs> You're talking to the future Emperor of Shing, monster. I need this power. I need it to protect, Ring. to provide for my people, and to take my place as ruler. And I accept all of the risks. But let's see if your stomach matches your appetite. Can you handle this? Bradley said he wasn't Wait. sure which soul was left over at the what? end. Ah, you mean the guy I took this body from? Sorry, but your friend just checked out and left Greed this body. So, you're not Ling? Did he say Greed? Ling! <laughs> Ling! Is he gonna fall over? Scar. And me. What's the matter? He's a human, but also not. Huh. Oh my god. Boys, not the and they've also got full metal. Huh? Where is he? That little guy is the full metal little. alchemist. <gasps> nope. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Micro girl. Micro girl. That's the ish pollen that I never got to eat. He doesn't have his alchemy to stop you right now. Okay. What? He doesn't have it either. It disabled everything in the. What? You paid for this. You deceived an innocent girl, and you cannot show me. Ah! You'll suffer for what you've done. All of you. He didn't do anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. About time. Nope. <laughs> Scar. They started the Ishfallen War. About what started the war in Ishfall? It was envy disguised as a soldier. I'd like to hear more details about this. In between your screaming, gluttony. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Your only solace for oh, my God. wrath will be damnation. Solace for my wrath. Whoa, 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 whoa. nice. He's got some pretty good moves for a human. Greed. Hmm. Let's what? talk a moment. The hell? How are you able to use your alchemy? <laughs> Hmm. Well, you are clearly still transmuting. <laughs> if I had jumped one second later, I'd be a dead man. Wow. Oh! Oh my god. Shall we? with this girl you would allow me to escape well I'd rather beat you senseless and it makes me sick to have to ask you for help but right now we need to save this girl's life I doubt that I'd be able to get her safely to the surface with the condition I'm in right now and I have no intention of turning my back on this place just yet wait what are you doing Look! what the heck What? <laughs> My head. Please, couldn't you have warned me first? What a rude thing to do! <laughs> I guess you think it was clever, Night 
I need him like that. You've used up your regenerative power. Your body's dying. What about your country? Have you forgotten all about Flawed Flawed? <laughs> Hey, Pops! I caught him for you. Upstairs. I want him taken directly to Wrath. Oh. Man, you guys really made a mess of things, didn't you? He's in there. I know it. Ling's alive. He's alive, but I don't know how you get him out. Damn it! End of the episode. Gluttony's just gone now? Reabsorbed. I'll recreate you when the time is right, with all of your memories intact. What? Okay. Well, didn't know that was possible. Ling, no! Damn it. Ah, so he's grieved now. And so from what Wrath said a couple episodes, he said he wasn't sure if the soul within him is even him anymore or if one of the souls in the Philosopher's Stone took over. So I assumed it was like a ton of souls competing for the right to the body, but with Greed's interaction with Ling, like Greed was, was a singular soul with overwhelming power. We saw a lot of other faces in that um, vision, but uh, Greed was huge. Is it because he existed before and had already won out and he had um, grown stronger and stronger? But then he also has no memories of Ed, and it sounds like it sounds like he even has a new voice actor. Although it could be the same voice actor just putting on a different voice um, from the previous Greed, which make good. I mean, it would make sense uh, since even with, though you have the same soul, you have like different vocal cords to work with now. Um, definitely, something sounds different from Ling. Ling's voice is much higher, and Father acts. Not the way I thought he, like, an evil being would act. He's, like, very curious, lighthearted, and, like, touchy-feely with Ed and Al. Uh, and he's able to build back Al's armor and heals Ed's arm very easily. No ex equivalent exchange. Doesn't need to make a transmutation circle. Um, can just create matter. I assume some of it has to do with the fact that he has Philosopher's Stones within his very body. Um, I mean, we saw him absorb Gluttony's back at the end of the episode, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming he has other Philosopher's Stones within him. That's why. Um, and then he's also able to block Ed and Al's alchemy. Which, how does he... What? <sighs> but yeah, Ling fends out Gluttony. And Father is impressed enough that he decides to make Ling the next Greed. Which, <sighs> I thought Ling might go off with the homunculi like once upon a time. That was like 10 episodes ago. And we've been on so many adventures with him since then that it kind of, like, slipped my mind. And after, especially after the homunculi were the ones who, like, attacked Lan Fawn, I didn't expect for him to submit so willingly to their wishes, to Father's wishes. And yet, he asks for the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, when Greed appears before him, he says, Give me the power, I will give my body to you, which makes no sense since he can't then use the body to achieve his original goals uh, I'm assuming he wants to fight back at some point uh, I know he's still in there because otherwise they like killed him off like too unceremoniously uh, it just doesn't make sense and Ed actually draws the gun Riza gave him to try to stop this whole thing from going down but like who was he going to shoot in this instance there was only one person he could shoot to stop Ling from becoming a homunculus and that's Ling and he was not going to do that he's not willing to do that um he could have held the gun to his own head and threatened suicide unless Ling they let Ling go. Uh, that would have worked, I think. Uh, unless they just like took the gun from him. Um, but all that is irrelevant because Ling wants the stone and makes Ed stand down. And, yeah. Um, he's in there. We'll find him. Or he'll find his way out, somehow. Um, anyway. Uh, Scar and May show up after that happens. Um... And Scar is able to still deconstruct, which for some reason, um, the, like, Father isn't able to block, and May's alchemy isn't able to be blocked either, so what gives? Like, even the homunculi and Father are surprised, so at the very least, Father isn't so knowledgeable about 
transmutation, that he knows literally everything there is to know about alchemy. And I guess as long as that's true, it feels like our har- our heroes have a chance, but I mean, I don't see it right now. I don't see how they're going to overtake him at this moment, but um, that gives me a l- some hope and some, yeah, some hope. Uh, I don't think Ed and Owl learn Alka history to beat him, though, uh, especially since... Or, uh, or Scar's, like, deconstruction, especially since Scar's deconstruction doesn't even work on Father. Um, speaking of Scar, Ed actually tells him who's responsible for the Shvalon genocide, so that's gonna be the end of his vendetta against, uh, state alchemists, maybe? I mean, they still did kill a bunch of them, but it was just predicated by, uh, Father's and Envy's decision to kill that little girl and start the war. Um, so you could say that, uh, the state alchemists were manipulated into doing that, but they did still follow orders. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard. Um, at the very least, the state alchemists aren't his number one target. Uh, so that opens him up to possibly helping out. And we did see him work together with Ed or with Al this episode to get, uh, May out. Um, but yeah, he uses the deconstruction alchemy on... This deconstruction on Father's face. Like, his face. And it's not like he used alchemy to... Like, it's not like that Father used alchemy to heal the damage. It just didn't even damage him. Which, I don't know if he's made from a different substance or why it wouldn't work. Like, even the other, like, the homunculi, they get hurt by the deconstruction and then they heal with the Philosopher's Stone. But he's not even... Even though he's not able to disable Scar's deconstruction, he can still mitigate the damage or cancel out the damage. I don't know. It's weird. Um, and, yeah, um, Scar is barely able to escape the counterattack, and, I mean, Scar is pretty freaking lethal and powerful, so Father is on, like, a completely level, different level from him as well, so I don't see how they're going to take him down at any point, but I guess we'll find out more eventually. But, yeah, Scar is freaking good. I'm curious if like father has been saying the father and homunculus have been saying that he's been like a thorn in their side like any thoughts about making him a homunculi like he'd be nearly unstoppable he'd be yeah, he'd be nearly unstoppable especially if you could accomplish what you did with ling and taking over scar's mind and just like suppressing it and just like putting a new mind in there that's loyal to father and the his cause uh that would be scary uh, but yeah, Al saves May when she gets hurt and everybody's running. Scar catches up and, like, Al wants to work with him despite everything between them. <laughs> Scar throws his head as a distraction. It's uh, amazing. <laughs> Al is just, like, chasing after his head. It's cute. Um, but yeah, he's able to escape with May. But the two boys are captured again and Father sends them to be brought in front of Wrath. Which... I mean, Ed and Al don't even know that Mustang's group has been split up, and Wrath actually met Winry before, so he knows how much she means to them. So, um, if that threat is made, that, like, stay in line or we'll, I'll have her killed, uh, they're definitely going to have their hands tied. Hopefully that's not the case, but um, I don't see why he wouldn't do that. Uh, but yeah, interesting post-outro scene with Father reabsorbing Gluttony and saying he'll recreate him when the right time comes but with the same memories. So we didn't know that was possible, though it does make sense that he didn't do that with Greed, since Greed ran away and didn't want to serve Father in the first place. Um, but yeah, with Father's capabilities, would he be able to just give Ed and Al's bodies back? Like, it would be way too easy, and like the story would... Eh, like, the main point of the story would kind of be over, but I also want their bodies back. I want them to live, like, nor- kind of normal lives. Uh, I mean, they're they're not going to go back to, like, live in Resinbul if they just get their bodies back. They have enough drive to continue their journey. They're not just about to let these homunculi continue everything they're doing, so... Uh, one can wish, but I have a feeling it's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give this episode an 8.5. Um, really interesting lore ling poor ling also i mean he wanted it so i don't know if i should feel pity for him um hopefully hopefully it's not the end of end for him which i really doubt it is and uh yeah um oh yeah the ending scene credits 
um, feature Winry and Lan Fawn, which is mostly Winry, but we also get a shot of Lan Fawn without her arm. Um, so she hasn't been given a mechanical one yet. Um, but anyway, yeah, fun episode. Um, curious what Ed and Al will have to do when they're faced with Wrath. Uh, but yeah, if you want to watch the full reaction or watch the next episode early, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. I'll uh, just let you guys know, uh, people, like, one, last time I took a break, which was, like, two episodes ago, someone was like, oh, like, you actually have a schedule? And I was like, uh, yeah, I've been, po like, posting these every every week at the same exact time. So, just to let you guys know, yeah, Tuesdays, 8 a.m. is when I typically put this up. Um, I think I've done 8 a Tuesdays at 8 a.m. ever since, and I haven't missed any. Um, but if I do run into like copyright issues, that'll be the only situation where it's not up at that time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, leave a like really helps out the channel, subscribe and all that good stuff. I will see you guys soon.